Now there are a few towns in Colorado that as soon as you hear them, you already get an image in your head. Today we're going to be exploring one of them. That's right, we're here in Boulder, Colorado. We'll tell you all about what it's like to live here in Boulder. everybody welcome back to the channel i am joe benjamin this is living in colorado so if this is your first time here please hit that like and subscribe button wherever they're at we put out new content every week everything about living in colorado great places to see things to do and of course talking about colorado real estate so today we are talking about one of those legendary colorado towns that's right, right behind me here, you see the University of Colorado at Boulder. This is the CU campus. It is an absolutely beautiful campus and it's a really cool town, but it's also one of those towns that if you say Boulder, Colorado, you're gonna get strong feelings about it one way or the other. So it depends on what side of the fence you're on, but I have nothing bad to say about it here. We're just gonna be talking about the highlights and seeing what living in Boulder is all about. Now, one of the first things you'll notice about Boulder, Colorado is it is nestled right up against the Colorado Rockies and the foothills. In fact, right there on the hillside there, that is the legendary flat irons of Boulder. These are just some amazing rock formations that are part of the Dakota Hogback, and they just make for a picturesque backdrop to this amazing town and a really great university. So one of the admitted downsides to uh, downtown Boulder here is the parking situation. Uh, right now it's the summer and uh, it's a weekday so I didn't have any trouble finding parking, but most of the areas down near the campus, near the Pearl Street Mall are gonna be paid parking. So just be prepared for that. Uh, once you get out more into the neighborhoods, it's not as big of a deal, but a lot of paid parking down near the Pearl Street Mall and the university. All right, so we are coming up on the Pearl Street Mall. So this is a really neat area that uh, they've taken and basically taken a road and turned it into just an open air market with shops on both sides. The nice thing is you have a whole bunch of local variety of things, everything from merchants to restaurants and everything. And you combine that with the college town feel and it just gives you a really cool vibe, a lot of neat stuff to eat, see, do. It's a really nice place. I love the Pearl Street Mall, uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, again, when we're talking about the groceries here, there's also all sorts of mom and pop type grocery stores, a ton of farmer's markets and everything that's really driving that overall 6% increase. But if you take all of that out and just look at it from the perspective of a regular grocery stores, it's probably about average. Now, this one is kind of surprising, the next one here. Let's talk about healthcare. So overall, the healthcare cost in Boulder is about 86.5% of the national average. So in this uh, rare stroke here, Boulder is gonna be a little bit more affordable when it comes to healthcare. And there are some great healthcare options. I'm not gonna dive into all of them, but they do have some really high quality hospitals and clinics in the area and a lot of other holistic options as well if you're into that kind of thing. But overall healthcare is one of those very important things to almost every American and it's very affordable here in Boulder. All right, so the next one here also comes in at a little bit less expensive. So 92% of the national average, we're talking about utilities. And I think a lot of that comes down to Colorado, especially in Boulder, has a pretty heavy emphasis on a lot of your renewables. So that's wind energy and solar energy, specifically solar. That also coupled with Boulder being a very environmentally conscious town has a lot of incentive and a lot of people who are incentivized just in taking care of the environment that just use less electricity, use less gas, and are just more cognizant on trying to build those energy efficient homes and building things in to help the environment. And as a result, they use less energy and therefore their energy is more affordable overall. So another one, which is a great plus. So that couples right into healthcare, which makes sense because it's a very active community. So a lot of healthy people, they're 
therefore lower healthcare costs coupled with environmentally conscious community, therefore lower energy costs. In addition to just the environmentally conscious community, the temperatures here in Colorado are fairly moderate. The winters aren't that cold, the summers aren't that hot. So between the two, the need for a furnace being running all winter, air conditioner running all summer are a lot less of a demand than in other parts of the country. It's not like down in Texas and Dallas where if you didn't have an air conditioner, you were gonna die in the summer or up in Minnesota where if you don't have a nice heater, you're gonna freeze to death. It's pretty mild most of the year here. Now there are extremes where it's gonna get really cold or really hot, but those are exactly what I just said, extremes. For the most part, it's a pretty moderate climate here in Colorado where either a sweatshirt or taking a layer off is gonna do it before you have to get involved with burning any propane, gas, or uh, turning on that air conditioner. All right, let's talk about this next one here, public transportation. So Boulder is coming in about at 92.5 of the national average average for cost of public transportation. Now compare that to uh, their neighbor right down the road, Denver, which is at 115% of the national average. So it costs a lot more to run around town using public transit in Denver than it does Boulder. Boulder does use the same transportation organization, RTD, as Denver and has plenty of options as far as bus routes and connecting things that get you down into light rail and stuff like that to get into Denver. So it's a robust system, but it's less expensive overall than the national average. Now again, talking about transportation. Boulder is one of those places which is kind of rare here in Colorado. It is a very walkable city, especially if you live close down in town. It's a very, very walkable city and they have a ton of bike paths. So you can get almost anywhere you want to go through some form of walking, riding your bike or something like that, or even taking the bus. Now, as far as taxes and things like that, Colorado has a just standard 4.4% income tax. The county taxes for property and things like that are a little bit higher in Boulder, but over Overall, nothing too crazy. Now, things that are gonna cost a little bit more in Boulder, and they're pretty expensive overall, is things like your childcare and uh, things like that. It's just expensive in Boulder and throughout Colorado. I didn't find exact numbers for that, but it, it's a fairly high expense overall. So if you are looking at something and you're gonna need those childcare facilities or some, a nanny or something like that, definitely dig into the research and kind of see what you're up against as far as overall pricing on that and uh, just kind of compare it to other places. Now, what I can say about childcare overall is on average here in Colorado and Boulder County, the average, and again, that can be way higher, way lower, is around $13,000 per year. So about $1,000 per month or a little bit more uh, overall. So if you are gonna be needing to utilize childcare, uh, see if maybe you can use an option of grandparents or family. And if that's not an option, you need to budget at least 13,000, if not $15,000 a year for childcare. Now, some of the other things you're gonna wanna budget for is dining out. Boulder has got some phenomenal restaurants. There's just a ton of them. You're gonna wanna try a lot of them. So dining out, it's not cheap, but it is worth it. A lot of great places, Pearl Street Mall, downtown Boulder, all sorts of good stuff. A lot of cool little uh, dive joints around the campus, you know, those typical college type places, a lot of good food everywhere. The other thing is you're in Boulder and what's better to do with it in Boulder than Boulder things? Being outside hiking, rafting, mountain biking, climbing, all of that stuff needs gear. So the good people at all the outdoor stores are gonna definitely take some of your money. And if they don't, then you are not doing Boulder right. It is an outdoorsy type of place and you're gonna wanna be doing those outdoor activities, but a lot of that stuff costs a lot of money. So, you know, if I wasn't in real estate, I'd probably be into the outfitter business because oh my goodness that stuff is so expensive it's definitely makes your experience well worth it overall so check it out budget for some extra things and goodies to help make your adventures a little bit more fun so that basically wraps it up those are our main cost of living in boulder now overall boulder is a great place to be your values are going to be amazing you're going to get great equity there's a ton of stuff to do if you don't want to live in the more expensive boulder area you can still be in boulder county with Louisville, lafayette and superior there just along Highway 36, really easy access to Boulder. Heck, you could even go up to Longmont or Erie and be in that area as well and still be just a couple minutes away from Boulder. If you're in Boulder, try all of that stuff out. Before you buy a bunch of gear, there's a ton of places you can rent this stuff from and just try a little of everything and see what you wanna do before you commit yourself to buying all that expensive gear. But the most important thing is there's a ton of stuff to do. There's a ton of options of where to live, places to eat, things to experience. It's all part of that great Colorado experience. So whether you're coming from the East Coast or the West Coast, or even just from the middle of America, make this your home and it's gonna be a great experience for you overall. If you need anything at all, hit me up. I've got a lot of great resources for the things that we talked about today. And if you're looking to uh, make that move, I love making these videos, but I'd 
love to help you with that as well. So my number right here is 807-7979 and my website, greatlifecolorado.com. I am the person answering the phone. I am the person answering those messages. I'm not having someone else do that for me. So you're getting direct to the source here. If you need anything at all, definitely hit me up. And if you have any questions about Boulder or Colorado life in general, let me know. I'd be happy to explore it and uh, we'll go from there. So enjoy your life wherever you're at or right here in Colorado. We'll see you on the next one.